Hi there and welcome back. If you notice the last few videos, I've given you a brief introduction on how PayHip works, what PayHip is, various features available with PayHip, and how to set up, add, manage your products. So inside your dashboard, as you log into PayHip, you have what is called as a store tab or on the top of the navigation menu. If you click on that store, in this video, we're going to talk about how to use your store builder, how to launch it, how to use it to edit the storefront and also individual pages each for your products so that they look on brand and they look exactly the way you want them to look like. And I'm a staunch believer in how your digital storefront should be designed and how on, on brand it should be so that you have a long term view on your business and not having to be restricted with any other third party platforms own branding on top of the hard work that you put in for your products or courses. So to make changes to your store builder or any individual pages for that matter, you need to get to this part of PayHip inside your PayHip after you log in. If you're not signed up to PayHip, I would highly recommend you can go to hprofit.com forward slash PayHip and get access to your PayHip store absolutely for free. You can follow along and do what I'm doing or you can sign up for free and take your time and create your courses and try and promote them just to get your feet wet or just to see how things work. So having said that, let's get right back into your store builder. When you click on this particular tab called store on the top navigation menu, you have three options here out of which you click on store and click on launch your store builder. And once you get here, you have all the tools that you need to make changes to every single page, every single element and every single aspect, including the headers and the footers, how the pay hip digital front looks like. That means how your store looks like. So on the left side panel, you have everything you need to make changes. On the right is how exactly it will look like. You also have buttons where you can preview what you what changes you just made, or you can go right up there and publish if you think you are ready. Obviously, you will start with the header, and you will want to make changes to how your header looks. Store logo is obviously your brand logo. If you like to add your new logo, or if you would like to replace this particular existing logo. I might just want to go ahead and make a change. I might want to choose another image there and I might just say choose this image. Now you will see that my logo has been changed. So this is pretty intuitive per se and you will be able to get the hang of it the moment you start using it. You can also specify a particular logo height. You can reduce that logo height a bit if you want it or you can choose to use different logos for mobile devices. In case you don't have a logo, you can also have a default title for your store which is usually your brand name. I'm just going to leave it at fetch profits just in case for some reason my logo doesn't show up on a particular browser potential customers are looking at my my digital storefront and i'm going to even manage my navigation links that are shown on the on the top right here i can choose to have or remove any of the navigation links that you might see now if you want to add a new link all you need to do is just create a new link give that link a name and then I could choose to either select any of the preloaded AHIP driven pages here or I could create my own link there which then becomes a custom link. I can just share that and add that navigation link. For that moment, you also have header section and you can change the header layout if you wanted to. You could have the logo, show your logo on the extreme left but the navigation menu comes right into the middle here or you could opt to show your logo right in the middle or you have your logo right here and the navigation links right below your logo. This also have several other controls that I could make on exactly how I wanted my page front to look like. I could have my header be full width or be boxed into a box model. I could choose vertical padding. I could choose space between menu links here. Save changes. If you're not sure, you can also click on discard changes. Page. You also have a feature that's called announcement bar. And if you just check it, then you can add an announcement bar that shows up right on the top of your store. So this is great to make promotions or give away access to something free that you just launched or a way to build your email list. So I could just say get 50% off on all courses, put in a link there that leads to that specific landing page where people can click on and get access to that particular offer that I just made. The landing page where I have this particular offer available, type in that link there and click on save changes. You will see that it shows up here, it will show up for people who kind of visit your page. So I'm going to get back to what is called as collections and you can choose to order or rearrange your product based on collections and you can choose the aspect ratio, you can choose to show or not show the price there or you could choose to have the number of columns, you can even make it two for example. 
if I choose two, only two columns will show. If I choose three, then three columns will show. This will make more sense when you have more and more products being added, but you get the idea. I also get to have other options enabled here. I can maybe choose to have product name and price by default or have choose to have the product name and price on hover. I can also change how the background, I can also change the color themes if I wanted to. You could see all the changes right here on the right side align your text the way you want it to be. Reorder my collections if you have multiple collections. There's another section where your own bio shows up here. Show your name, show a little bit of your bio, add a link if you want. So this is nothing but a rich text module where you could add your text, you can make changes to this text, you could add links to enable people to click on a specific link that you would want them to go to. You can even add a complete list here if you wanted or have bullet points if you wanted to show that. You could have the option of showing your social media icons and for this to work, you would need to add your social media icons in the first place. As usual, you have changes that you could do with your background or you can even opt for a dedicated color scheme only for this particular section. So these are all the changes that you could make to your digital storefront. You can even make changes to your footer. At the moment, you will see that there is nothing right here on the footer. I don't even have a footer, but I could add if I wanted to. So I could add navigation links, have specific navigation links show up on my footer. So footer is a great place for some important navigation links, courses, and I could select collections and choose my collection. I could just say courses and select all products. So you could have your footer show up even in columns as you are most probably used to. So I could have multiple footer columns. So for example, I could have one column that says logo and social. And if I select that, now you'll notice my footer is being created one column at a time. I could obviously add a lot more thing. I can select the number of columns here. You also have the option of adding other sections and even adding custom pages. Make any changes you wanted. And if you created a custom page and wanted to add it back to your navigation links, you could go right back to your header on your store builder and add that special link, the newly created custom page right here on the nav menu. Your nav menu automatically comes obviously with the store cart with a cart icon here that shows people can log in and sign up and get access to the products that they have access to. You also have a dedicated a contact form that you could get access to and a shop button that will help them go right back to where they started on the store. So this is how the store builder works. I hope you found this intuitive. If you would like to get access, stay hip or fishprofit.com forward slash stay hip and get access to it and follow along. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for other videos. This is Ash from Fetch Profits signing up.